In this video, I'll share with you why your Facebook ads might be performing better than you think. Hey, it's Spencer X. Smith, and I wanted to show you really quickly why you're maybe not giving enough credit to the ads that you're running on Facebook. So in other words, they're actually doing better than you might think. So here's an example from something that I did personally. So I had done a new page for 2018 all about personal branding. And I'll show you the page in just a second, but just to give you some context on what I had done ad-wise, here's what you're going to see on Facebook as far as the posts that I put out on my page, and then I put a total of $70 behind that ad. So I boosted it for $10, $20, and eventually $30, to see, so I guess it equals 60, so technically $60 for boosting that ad or showing that to different audiences. Now when I look at the ad, I can click here on the people reached. And if I click on the people reach, I see that there were a total of 91 link clicks. Now this is the most important thing to me because the goal of this is to send people to this website that I had built that I'll show you in just a second. So 91 link clicks went through to the website and you'll notice here that I used a link shortening service called Bitly and I'll get back to this in just a second but this is really important that you use a link shortening service when it comes to these specific Facebook ads that you're running. So once again 91 link clicks and this is where people it up. It's an article all about how people can use their personal brand in 2018 to do better business development, especially in professional services. So banking, lawyers, engineers, accountants, financial services, that kind of stuff. So as you read through this article, you're going to see that I have different calls to action here. So one here is going to pop up a little light box and people can type in their email address and then I send them a PDF of what they see on the screen. So this is the first example of that and very early on in the article. Scroll down some more, you're going to see another one that looks just like that one as well. Here and here at the end. So a little bit more detailed one, but I can tell you that based on my statistics, this page is converting, meaning of the visitors who come to my page, about 27%, so about a quarter of people who read this page actually click to download and then submit their email address. Now once again, going back to this on Facebook, you see that I spent $60 and it was reaching based on Facebook's data, reach 91 people who actually click through to the website, but you're gonna see a disparity here when I bring up Bitly. So Bitly is this link shortening service I talked about, and this link is only available here on this Facebook ad. So if somebody clicks this link, I know that they've gotten it from this Facebook ad and not from anywhere else at all. So if I go to Bitly, what I'm gonna see here is that there are actually a, whole, a total of 124 link click. So why the difference here between the 91 and the 124? Well, what I love about Bitly is as we scroll down here, you're going to see that it get, actually gets just a little bit more than what we expected from Facebook. So there are 98 clicks that they attribute to Facebook, 10 from Instagram because those Facebook ads are actually being shown on Instagram as well. But then this big thing here, 16. Now, where does this come from? And if you can see in the video, it says email, SMS, direct. And that's another way of saying dark social. So as opposed to people clicking through to the link to my website on either Facebook or Instagram, this is people grabbing that link and copying it and using elsewhere. So as an example, people might say, hey, you know what, I saw this link, I'm gonna right click, copy the link and text it to my friend that I know is really interested in personal branding or email it to my friend or something along those lines. So when you're running any kind of Facebook ads, try to use Bitly as well to ensure that you can actually get all of that dark social exposure as well because I think you're gonna notice that you are actually performing better than you might think if you're just using the Facebook data. So I hope this helps and I look forward to talking to you next time. Thanks. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments if you've tried this. Have you produced information-based material to give away to attract your targeted clients? I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Thanks so much and I'll talk to you next time.